In this video, I will show you how to change the hostname of a Linux machine. Currently, I am connected to an Ubuntu server. And you can see that the hostname is a long piece of text, which I want to change to something shorter. The hostname is usually stored within a file named hostname within the etc directory. Let's take a look at that file ls slash etc dash la. Here is the hostname file. Open it in the nano editor to see what it contains. Nano etc slash hostname. So this is how the hostname is stored. One way to change the hostname is to directly edit this file. However, you need to reboot the machine for the changes to take effect. Because as far as I understand, the hostname file is read during the boot process. So a better way to change the hostname is to use the hostname ctl command. It's part of system D. Also when you use the hostname ctl command to change the hostname, it ensures that all the related configurations are also updated. If you run the hostname command without any arguments, it outputs the current hostname and the related information such as the operating system, kernel version, architecture, etc. To update the hostname, you can run the hostname ctl command with the set hostname subcommand, followed by the new hostname within quotes. Here I am going to name it as apple1. With the hostname ctl command, the changes are immediate. There is no need to reboot the machine. Run the hostname ctl command again. And you can see that the static hostname has changed. Also, if you open the etsy slash hostname file, you can see that the file is also modified with the new hostname. Here is something I remembered later after recording the video. Once you have changed the hostname, it's a good idea to update the hostname in the etsy slash hosts file as well. This file is related with mapping domain names to IP addresses. Anyways, it's a good idea to update this file also, replacing the old hostname with the new hostname, wherever it appears. So let's open it in the editor. You can find that the old hostname is mapped to the IP address 127.0.1.1. So let's replace that with the new hostname that is apple1, apple1. Save the file, then exit. Basically, that's all you need to know to change the hostname of an Ubuntu Linux machine. However, let's discuss a few more details. There is another command called hostname which just displays the hostname in a single line. The hostname ctl command has other usages too. For instance, you can set a pretty hostname. For that, you can run the set hostname subcommand with the dash dash pretty option. Now we have both a static hostname and a pretty hostname. On this Ubuntu machine, the pretty hostname is stored in a file called machine info inside the etc directory. However, you might notice that the hostname in the command prompt is not yet changed. So if I log out and login again now it has changed next let's see what happens if you manually edit the etc slash hostname file nano etc slash hostname let me change the hostname to something else for instance berry2 save it and exit the editor now if i run the hostname ctl command 
you can see that the static host name has changed. But there is something else called a transient host name, which is still Apple one. That is the previous host name. That means our edit has now taken effect fully. So let me try logging out and login again. You can see that the command prompt is still showing the old host name. Unlike when we changed it using the hostname CTL set hostname command. So for the changes to take effect, we need to reboot the machine. Connect again after some time. And now you can see that the host name has changed. The transient host name thing has gone and the static host name is now buried too.